Hello, my name is Mr. Bacon Bits, and welcome to my Astral Chain 100% file completion guide. We're on to file 4, and at this point, maps are going to start getting bigger and non-linear. Because of this, I'm going to add a map overlay for each item in, the, in those non-linear areas to better show where you need to go. Let's start with the cases. In HQ, there are two red cases you can do before you quickly head off to the mission. Alan's challenge is simply sparring with Alan in the training room, and Shooting 101 is on, it, on the edge of the heliport where you can polish up your usage of Arrow Legion. Once at Harmony Square, we have three cases available. These particular ones can be done at the Regroup chapter as well. The red case here is the Haunted Dumpster. Talk to the gal by the basketball court, then follow where I'm going to a back alley corner with a bunch of dumpsters. A portal will open up, so head in for a fight. One of the blue cases over here is Find the Perp. You'll see an officer named Carlos. Talk to him to find out he's trying to find someone, and gives you some clues as to what the guy is wearing. The guy is actually nearby, can't miss him. I am... The other blue case is Stop the Bomb. This one's easy to find, it's actually within the green circle on the map. As a hint, it's up high on a rooftop. We just received an anonymous tip saying... Moving on, once you reach the destination, an investigation red case this pops up, Chasing Shadows. This makes a few other related cases show up as well. There's a couple red cases nearby each other. This guy over here is a fan of an actress and gets a little uppity when you ask him questions about Jenna. This other one, some tough guys want to rough you up for getting near them. They don't realize they have a powerful legion on your side. This guy over here has trouble finding a specific spot, and he'll give you a picture. Just follow my lead to know where to go. This blue case is in the small indoor shopping area. Someone lost his cat. This is essentially a tutorial on how to rescue cats that are scattered in every file. Some can be hidden, others have to be distracted with empty cans. Finally, after getting all the clues necessary, you're told to head to a specific spot. This triggers a scene and a required blue case. Chase after Jenna. At the end of the Astral Plane segment in Pursuit of Jenna, there's some annoying chimeras you'll have to deal with for a red case. Through the Ark Mall, there's a segment where you have to rescue your fellow officers from tentacles. This is a blue case. The next red case you'll get to is fighting the Rogue Arm Legion. This guy's kind of difficult unless you learn how to perfect call to stop his frantic punches. Right after that fight, you can use the Arm Legion to rescue Alicia for the last blue case. There's still a few red cases, though. Speaking of one, go back down a floor at this point and change up across. There's a portal at the end. It's behind a shutter door. Keep in mind this only appears after defeating the Arm Legion. The last red cases are found along the way. Chimera Takedown, Mall cleanup and Azra Plaza. Watch out! She's she's not human. Now moving on to red matter. Explore Harmony Square before moving on to the investigation case. You should have 12% if you got everything.
Moving on up to the Skywalks, you should have 18% by the time you're done. Don't forget the stuff in front of Larger Burger. In the astral plane, the red matter before shooting the node should get you to 22%. Up ahead, getting the red matter before shooting the three nodes should get you to 24%. After shooting the nodes, chain jump to the walls here to collect the red matter for 28%. At the data receptacle, the red matter surrounding the area should jump you to 33%. After activating the receptacle, get the red matter on the ledges above first, then make your way to the next three nodes. By that point, you should have 41%. Follow the path that opens up until you reach the red moving blocks. Should be at 44%. Use those blocks to get up to the ledges above and follow them. There's not much, but it'll get you to 45%. Finally, the fight arena at the end should get you to 49%. Hang on. Before getting to Ark Mall, head up to the rooftop where you find the bomb. The red matter here should get you to 51%. This is here when you first reach Harmony Square. I just missed it the first time and got it during the regroup chapter. So if you, if you got this when I didn't show it, then good job. In the entrance hall of Ark Mall, 
You should be at 58% after you're done. Heading to the Arboreal Atrium, check the corners. Should get you to 59%. After the cutscene, return to the first floor and get the small smattering of red matter. Should be at 60%. Explore around the second floor until you get to the emergency exit, 64%. Are they Jenna's too? We'll know for sure when. Right after the emergency exit, the room here should get you to 65%. Explore the food court where you have to help your fellow officers, and you should jump to 75%. Follow the next hall, up to the third floor, and explore that small area for 80%. Good number! After fighting Arm Legion, make sure you have all the red matter in that arena, as well as around the 4th floor atrium before moving forward. This should get you to 89%. Lift the shutter and proceed forward. By the time you get to the elevators, you should be at 97%.
Once using the elevator, the last of the red matter should be up here, just before the end fight. Be careful in not getting too far from the elevator. A barrier may show up to prevent you from collecting any red matter near the elevator. Starting with the supply crates, head over to the two small buildings next to the basketball court and use Arrow Legion to shoot down the ladder here. Chain jump across to the other building after climbing to this crate. It has a cap. There's one by the Songbird Diner over on this side of the plaza. On the same side, there's a crate inside the coffee shop. Over at the bomb area, climbing up the stairway, you'll find a crate on the way up. Towards the middle of this area, there's a crate by the car display in front of Harmony Media Center. There's another supply crate by these stairs. There's a Moonrise Travel Shop here. Once up here to start the investigation case, there's a crate in this corner. Shut down. Another crate can be found by this guy suffering from redshift. It's near the red case for subduing the suspicious guys. On the opposite end of the plaza is a crate in front of Larger Burger. Head across the street for another sitting next to a GOL truck. Another supply crate is in the indoor shopping area. The last one here in Harmony Square, there's a hologram wall over by the larger burger. This'll lead to another hermit hideout with a crate inside. Once in the astral plane area, there's a crate to your right after opening the first door, so to speak. Ride the elevator up after activating it, then turn back and chain jump along the walls. There's a crate by the vendor. After activating the data receptacle, ride the platform up, then chain jump to the ledge below for another crate. Right next to that one is another, requiring the Axe Legion to break the barrier. There's another crate down here where you have to activate three nodes. Down here with the crusher blocks, there's a crate in a safe corner. Once you've done that, climb the crusher blocks to the top. 
Along the upper path here are two crates, one at the beginning and one at the end. While up here, there's a crate you can find by dropping down blocks over on this side facing the crushers. In the Ark Mall entrance hall, there are two crates, both on the left side. What, a mall full of mystery There's a crate behind some hardened goop on the way to the atrium. On the first floor of the atrium, there's two crates underneath the stairway. The rumors were true. On the second floor of the atrium, go right instead of left to find another crate. Let's hurry up and catch her. Jeez. Anything to get away from that stink. In the middle of the emergency exit room, there's a crate right by a toilet. In the very next room, there's another crate. Exit that room, then take a right. There's a crate by a bunch of red matter. There's three crates in the food court as well. There's a crate by the feet of the wreckage before you climb it to the next floor. After the Arm Legion battle, there's a crate inside Kathy Fogley, near Alicia. Then, there's another crate in front of the large digital displays. Head back to the center, then take this path around to a drop-off. There's a bulb and a crate down here that's normally blocked off by some poison gas. Since you're back down here on the third floor, head back to the collapsed pathway and chain jump over to the shutter door you see. Open it with your arm legion to find another supply crate. Finally, there's a crate over by the elevators that lead to the end boss. That should be the last supply crate. Starting with the dropped items you can find is in the garage of HQ. I figure this will be first since it's e easy to spot when you get to the garage. Going up a floor, there's an item right by the elevators. Next floor, just like the previous file, there's an item by the inactive elevators. Finally, before moving on from HQ, there's an item on the helipad closer to the elevators. There's an item in between these two small buildings. The NPC there only spawns when you start to find the perp case. There's another item you can pick up in the kitchen right next to the guy who gives you the haunted dumpster case.
At the floor of the stairway leading up to the bomb is another item. You'll have to duck underneath. We just received an anonymous tip saying there's a bomb hidden somewhere in Harmony Square. They didn't say where the bomb was, just that it's armed and ready to explode. You've got to find... There's an item found right by the subway entrance on this end of the er area. There's an item up here in the corner by some machines. Up above the scrolling banner for the store here is an item you can shoot down. There's another item you can shoot that's on the Svol Svolgi sign right here. The Hermit Hideout by Larger Burger has an item you can pick up. In the Astral Plane, after activating the data receptacle, ride the platform up to find a ledge with an item on it. Once you reach this point where there's a bunch of blocks that can crush you, you can chain jump around the corner here for an item. In the same area, there's an item you can shoot down high up on the wall. Right at the entrance hall to Ark Mall, there's an item behind the information desk. On the first floor of the atrium, there's an item you can shoot underneath the air stairway. On the Ark Mall's second floor, by the emergency exit, there's an item you can shoot down. Easy to spot. You're back at the atrium at the third floor. Head down the stairs at this point for an item. On the fourth floor, Go around the walkway and look up at the center structure for an item to shoot down. Finally, at the area where the mall cleanup case takes place, there's an item you can shoot down on one of the walls. Moving on to the dig spots, there's one at the entrance hall to Ark Mall. It's right below a group of red matter. The other dig spot is in the food court, in front of the quick juice store. <laughs> 